jobs. Like they have to work, they have other classes, they have family, etc. So I wanted to give you until December 7th to complete it, but the I, I recommend you to do a chapter each week because it, it it will pile all up and it will be too much to do right at the end. So I want you to just do it week by week, but I, I understand that you may have to uh, like delay it to do it, but I recommend it week by week. So uh, consumer surplus, The consumer surplus is the triangle. You have to calculate the triangle area there and then produce surplus the triangle area there. So uh, to calculate triangle area, it's the base times height divided by two. So make sure to use that equation to calculate the triangle area there. So then if, if quantity is below equilibrium, there's efficiency loss to done under production there. And then if uh, quantity is um, above equilibrium, there's efficiency loss from overproduction. So private goods are produced by the mark in the market by firms offer for sale, they're rival and excludable. Public goods are provided by the government, offered for free. They're non-rival, non-excludable, and they have the free rider problem. The problem that means that people who don't pay taxes have the benefits of them. So people who don't pay taxes still benefit from the military because the military protects everybody. So to calculate collective willingness to pay, you gotta add the willingness to pay for each person together. So net benefit is, is uh, when you do Total benefit minus total cost. And then you want to have it as marginal benefit equals marginal cost, and that'll lead to efficiency. So in this case, we can't get marginal benefit exactly equal to marginal cost, but it's the closest it can get. So this is most efficient. So uh, four lane highways are most efficient because marginal benefit and marginal cost are almost equal. And then quasi-public goods can be provided through the market system because of positive externalities the government provides them. Examples are education, streets, and libraries. So the government takes taxes from individuals and businesses and spends it on production public goods. So positive externalities, there's not enough of a product that's produced. So they need, so it's not like you're not producing enough of what is produced. You should produce more because there's too, there's a lot of benefit to it. So that producing more would be a good thing. Negative externalities when you're producing too much of something. So it might be that you're polluting too much and that pr producing as much as you do is too much produced production so you gotta reduce you gotta reduce your production so government can correct negative externalities through taxation so they do that through carbon tax so carbon tax is used to stop a lot of the pollution and that is used to bring pollution down to more of a efficient level and then positive externalities are corrected through subsidies. So, for example, they subsidize public transit because uh, it would be underproduced in the private market. So they have to subsidize it to make it uh, to make it produce more. Because if, if it's not subsidized, it won't be produced as much as we need. Negative externalities can be uh, corrected through private bargaining, liability rules, not lawsuits, tax on producers, direct controls, market for externality rates. Positive externalities are under production of output and therefore under allocation of resources. They can be corrected through private bargaining, subsidy to consumers, subsidy to producers, and government provision. So yeah, we need marginal benefit equal to marginal cost. The government can have a role in correcting externalities. The government has to subsidize to make it 
to make uh, a positive externality, um, like to, if there's a positive externality, the government needs to subsidize it to increase production. But if there's a negative externality, the government has to tax it to decrease production. So, so positive externality, government subsidizes to increase production to efficient level. Negative externality, government taxes to reduce production to efficient level. So cap and trade is used to to reduce 